Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will go through the steps required to create an Exact Contact team account and have team members join your team. The team's version of Exact Contact includes significant team's functionality, including providing each team member with their own calendar and task list, the ability to restrict the visibility of team members to certain contacts, and the assignment of all kinds of activities to specific team members. Any existing Exact Contact account can be, converted, can be converted to a team account at any time. The account holder who creates the team is referred to as the team leader and is responsible for authorizing and managing team members. To get started with the Teams version, you first need to convert your existing account to a team account. To do this, start by clicking the User Profile button in the top right-hand corner, and under the Account Task section, click the Create Team link. Then, Enter your desired team ID and a password. Enter your password twice and click the Create Team button to create your team. After you successfully create your team, you will see that the Create Team link is replaced by the name of your team, as well as new links to manage your team members and change your team name and password. We will return to these links later in the tutorial. After you've created your team ID and password, you can now invite other members of your team to join. It is important to note that team members can only join your team upon signing up for a new Exact Contact account. A team member with an existing account cannot merge their account with your team account. To have someone join your team, you need to email them your unique team member signup link, which you can copy and paste into an email by clicking the copy to clipboard icon at the top right. Clicking on, clicking on the link will open the regular exact contact signup page, but with your team credentials pre-populated so they will automatically join your team upon completing their signup. Note, the team members are granted the same free trial period as other new customers. Once the team member completes their signup, you as the team leader will receive an email notifying you that someone has signed up and wishes to join your team. New team members cannot log into your team account until you have explicitly authorized them to do so. If you do not want to authorize someone to join your team, no action is necessary. If you are concerned that people may be trying to join your team under false pretenses, you should change your team name and password. In order to authorize new team members to log into your team account, return to the user profile area of Exact and under Account Tasks, click the Manage Team Members link. The list displays all of your team members and the permissions that you have assigned to each one. You should see the new team member with all permissions initially unchecked. In order to authorize the team member to join your team, check the box under Authorized. Before saving, you also need to decide what permissions and contact visibility you wish to give the new team member. If you wish to give the team member visibility to all contacts in your database and all functionality, check the box under Administrator. If you wish to restrict the team member's visibility to only certain contacts, do not check this box. The remaining checkboxes allow you to set whether or not the team member can export, delete, or import contacts into your database. Once you set the desired permissions for the team member, click the Save button to apply the changes. You can now notify the team member that they can log in to their account. You can deauthorize a team member at any time or change their contact-related permissions by returning to this area, unchecking the desired boxes, and resaving them. If you need to change your team name or password for any reason, you can do this by clicking the appropriate link and entering the new name or password. Changing the team name or password will update the team member signup link, so make sure to use the updated link when inviting future team members to join your team. All users who are a member of a team will see a calendar and task list sharing link under the preference, Preferences section of their user profile page. 
By default, all team members are initially set to share their calendar and task list, which means that other mem team members have full access. Any team member can disable the sharing of their calendar and or their task list by clicking on the link, unchecking the desired boxes, and saving. Note that if you are sharing your calendar and task list, you still have the option to create private appointments and tasks that are never visible to other team members. You now know the steps that are required to, an, to establish an exact contact team account and hit have team members sign up to join your team.